Today is February uh, 27, 2018, and this is your daily blog number 46. Uh, today I want to just sort of cover over PT Magic advanced settings. I, I really don't want to say advanced settings because I'm no expert in PT Magic. However, I'm just going to try to provide you the information that I figured out in PT Magic and just go ahead and explain it to you. So what happened in the last 24 hours? Well, I think we all got hit pretty hard. If you're running the bot and if it bought anything, most of those purchases in the last 24 hours are right now in the red. And then hopefully you got some DCAs going on and the DCAs got you out of the bag. So let's take a look at what my, uh, my bot has purchased. Okay. And impossible buys, or excuse me, in my Paris log, we have Ben ADX of Substratum. In my DCA, we got uh, Bitcoin Diamond and an OST. Okay, and when we take a look at all the charts associated with it, every single one, Bitcoin, Dem, and Chain, every single one is just heading down one. Um, uh, AdX, uh, here's VeChain again, but if you just look, everything just took a hit during this time. Now, when I look at Substratum and I compare it to Bitcoin, um, and this is the exact same timeline, we look at this inverted graph, and this is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is completely inverted while Substratum is uh, just went down. So if you just flip just flip it. I mean, if you just look at my cursor, you see the, the red crosshair that you see on both sides as I move and, and Bitcoin goes up, Bitcoin goes up, Bitcoin goes up. It's still tanking, and but it's not a direct reflection with each other. Also, when I go back in history, it's not a direct, direct reflection all the time. Uh, but in the past, we have seen when Bitcoin gets a soar, gets a rise, we've seen all coins also take a hit. Uh, we've seen that in the past um, a lot. Uh, right now, when Bitcoin is making a move up and down, it seems like it hits the altcoin market. So the profit trailer bought it. You really have to dial in your settings and let it know what to buy. Right now, I'm just putting a lot of restrictions on my bot and continuously putting restrictions on my bot. So with this information, I found that, hey, I'm, it's probably a good idea to capture this metric of Bitcoin in my profit trailer or excuse me PT magic and I'll go ahead and show you guys what I ended up doing so let me here's my here's my instance in AWS and um, let me go scroll all the way back to the top here okay so the very first thing I you might have this is called CMC 24 when you install PT magic what I did was I set this exclude main carriers uh, currency equals false so it contains Bitcoin now, based upon the Wikipedia, what they said with coin market cap is descending value uh, from the top coin on their website, coin market cap. So if we take a look, if we go descending value, well, guess who's on top? Bitcoin is, right? So what I did was I set it to analyze the very first coin and the last 24 hours of that coin only uh, based upon the trend minutes. Okay, so now I have captured Bitcoin. Now. It looks like to me personally, I'm almost 95% sure that this is Bitcoin uh, that it is captured. Uh, if we look at Bitcoin in the last 24 hours, let me go ahead and refresh Coin Market Cap, and we're at 4.88. And then if I take a look and do a cross reference check with PT Magic, we are at 4.68. Okay, so if you look here, I know it's sort of hard to see, but in white, that uh, there's a white bar here. Um, I, because I just added it, you notice that the white is just pretty stagnant. It's just straight because it, it hasn't collected the data. You have to let the bot run for a while. Uh, but you can see that BTC question mark is at 4.68. And I, I feel like that's a pretty good example of what Bitcoin um, the price is. Okay, um, I'm sure it fluctuates. Uh, when this was posted, which was uh, 229, uh, just right now. So let me see if it does reflect. Um, yeah, four. PT magic. It's pretty close. It's off by 0.2%, but I, I could live with that. So I now could sort of track what Bitcoin's price is in PT magic and maybe use that as a metric in the future. Okay. And I'm sure there's a lot of technical analysis out there that could probably use this information and fine tune what PT magic does. Uh, let's take a look at uh, some other settings I've set up in PT magic and I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I added the 48 hour and this is how I did it. I added the 48 hour. I also put max markets at 110. It's normally set at 50, but I put 110 so it collects a lot more data. 
And then uh, trend minutes, I did to 2,880. I just multiplied this by two to get my 48 hour, and then I multiplied it by two again to get my 96 hour. Okay, and so that's how I grab my trends. Now, how did I implement some of these uh, settings? Well, they're not the best settings I could think of, but it has prevented me from buying a pair specifically, and this is what I did here. Setting name, I call it negative 8%. If a coin is at negative 8% in any one of these market trends, don't, don't, don't. Like, if the coin itself by itself is at negative 8, I don't want to buy it. Okay, and I know I feel like that's a bad move to do. I should really do something like uh, do a really large number like exchange equals, you know, I, I don't know exactly what the best scenario is, but for now, I'm okay just not buying any pairs. I'm trying to figure everything out, so I'm limiting my bot's ability to buy. So if a coin is at negative 8% in the one hour or the 12 hour, or the 24, or the 48, or the 96, it will set these values here. And that's how that works. Now there's other statements. Um, if you see, there's an or statement here. So this one's a relative one, and I just go, went ahead and gave you guys an example. So based upon, is now is relative to the market trend. So the exchange one hour relative to the market trend, and the coin itself so let me just go ahead and read this. Exchange uh, one hour trend is 1%. So it, it all the 110 uh, coins are going up by 1% on an average. Then this coin needs to be at plus 8% for the pump and dump projection. Okay, and that's what I've set it at. Uh, this is normally at 10, but I went ahead and set it to 7. I'm, I am just really trying to dial in my settings and trying to buy um, a very limit my bot from buying almost everything. Oh, I just wanted to be very picky on what it purchases at this time, and then just slowly open up my settings. Um, I'm I'm also trying to not even DCA. I mean that's how far I want to go. Uh, but that's I'll talk about that later down the road. So yeah, um, there's also and statements. So it has to meet all this criteria here in order to be to the moon setting. So right now it is set to default. And let me go ahead, even though. Uh, the 24 hour and the 12 hour is very negative at this time the one hour mark is looking pretty healthy it's actually a positive number so it's set to default and let me see if I can showcase that to you guys so my bot was tanking down just a moment ago and if I go to PT magic you can see it's at default settings because it's not hitting this criteria anymore oh whoops let me go ahead and hit sure why not load it again so you see tanking down has to meet the, these criteria here exchange one hour has to be less than zero okay same thing with the 12 hour less than zero as the only thing and oh so everything has to be zero exchange has to be one uh, less than zero the 12 hours can be less than zero as well as the market trend of the 24 hours is negative 3 to negative 5%. Okay. And if we look here, it doesn't meet any of the criteria. So if we, uh, if I just go ahead and see if I can show you guys this. Exchange 1 hour is at 18% positive. Exchange 12 hour, it meets that criteria. Exchange 24 hour, it meets that criteria because you can see it is at negative 0.71 as well as the 24 hour being at negative 3.53 but it doesn't meet the one hour criteria so then it does not meet any criteria so it has now set it to default it's not meeting this tanking down now if the one hour was still going negative yeah this will kick in and it flips back and forth uh, quite a bit actually uh, on my phone I noticed that the market trends have changed a lot so yeah going over that information as well I tried my best to understand how my bot is buying and I still haven't figured it out but I'm trying to map so my bot has bought V chain for example at 4 uh, 4 a.m. last night at default settings and just trying to figure out how I could fine-tune this information and I still haven't figured it out if anybody else out there uh, sort of knows what the best buy scenarios based upon these settings um, and if you guys could give me some feedback that'd be great but I'm still trying to figure this out, I'm trying to put in, a, uh, I'm going to put in as much metrics as possible into PT Magic and then try to pinpoint, hey, this looks like a good buy and then just keep expanding my scope more and more and more. Okay, well, 
Um, hopefully this video has been helpful to some of you guys and some uh, ways that you could also um, add additional information into PT Magic. All right, thanks guys.